More local coverage. Joining us in studio, Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin to discuss many of the things his office is dealing with, uh, not only today and the day ahead and the weeks and months ahead. Good morning. First of all, let's talk about the Democratic National Convention, the four-day infomercial, as I like to call it, for both parties, but uh, it is must-see TV. Let's talk about Hillary Clinton becoming the first woman to be nominated by a major party and also these super delegates, this controversy surrounding them. Clearly a historic moment occurred yep. yesterday with her nomination. I think all Democrats are proud. I think this country should be proud of the fact that we finally have a woman seeking the top office and is nominated for it. So many European leaders are women. Right. And the United States, this is one place we fall behind. And uh, there's always a little bit of controversy involved. What, what is this super delegate thing that I've heard so much about over the last uh, couple months with well, what she's getting and what Bernie wasn't getting and all that? Like it was decided months ago. It was decided months ago, and thankfully the super delegates did not have the determining factor in who became the nominee. But I actually agree with the Sanders people. We should get away, do away with the superdelegate process. It reeks of insider elitism, if you will, right. within the party. And we should get the one person, one vote, and we, let the chips fall where they may. All right, uh, Pokemon Go has <laughs> taken over one of my children's lives, and uh, <laughs> you see it everywhere you go now. Better Business Bureau now issuing a warning about a phishing scheme targeting players that uh, just came out. What's the latest on that? Unfortunately, what's happening is now th the bad actors are taking advantage of another good thing happening right. in society. We're getting kids out. They're in the streets. They're, they're playing. They're seeking the Pokemon uh, icons. But unfortunately, there are those people out there who are trying to scam people saying, you need to get an upgrade. You need to send money or else we're going to shut you off. Uh. It's totally false. Pokemon is still free. You can still download it. And if anyone says to you, send us money, or, or otherwise you're going to get shut off, don't fall for it. Not true. Talk about uh, distracted driving with this Pokemon craze. We've talked about texting while driving in the past with you here. Uh, now people are pulling over on the sides of the road seeking these Pokemon characters, so that's also an issue. It's driving, it's pedestrians, uh, and it's become a real issue. Yesterday, or within the past couple of days, we had an accident caused by two people walking, paying attention to the Pokemon and not what they were doing. Several cars were involved in an accident. Thankfully, no one was injured. So when you're playing with it, walk the streets, pay attention to the traffic. If you're driving, don't engage in it. In my own neighborhood, I live with a, near a lot of businesses. I saw two people, a mother and a son, on bikes, stopped in the street, aiming uh, their cell phones at right. a business. Well, while it was good, they were out and riding bikes and playing the game. They were in the street, stopped. So we need to be cognizant of the safety of our surroundings and ensuring that we don't get the distractions that we normally associate with just driving. That's right. Thank you, Peter, so much for coming in. Thank Great you. to see you as always. Appreciate it. And uh, if you have any uh, other uh, information or you'd like to find more about Pokemon Go and whether or not the Attorney General plays, and uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding about that, go to our website for more on this interview, WPRI.com.